woman from way out west. Automobile and a cozy home by your way. See her all alone. She's a big time woman from way out west. Oh, when she treats these New York men. Every fella has a winning smile for she treats them all just like a child. She's a big time woman from way out west. She treats them all just like a child She's a big time woman From way out west So that was my version of Big Time Woman A Wilton Crowley composition he Used to be a clarinet player in the 20s, 30s and of course, uh, Leon Redbone did a great version of this and mine is patent on his version, of course, also the guitar accompaniment. And we're playing this uh, out of standard tune in key of G. And I'll play a little introduction. So I'm bending a double stop here, 3rd fret, 5th fret, 1st and 2nd string, and I have my 2nd finger placed on the 3rd, a second, the, sorry, the 4th fret 2nd string, it helps with the bend here. And I play this all with a temp. You don't have to do the taps, of course, uh, I just did that to illustrate the little rests there. So it's just uh, a G chord where we're going from to and then the D7, of course, sliding into it, D sharp 7 going back. And then we have the accompaniments, and I'll play exactly what's in the tap now. So I'm moving the G chord, so best is of course to use the temp wrap here, like uh, Leon does by the way. And you can either uh, flatten your index finger, I prefer to place my index finger like I'm fretting the strings uh, with the, the tip of the finger, but in between those first two strings, so I can fret them with one finger both at the same time. So you see I'm on the second fret now and then I move it to this position to get that first string, third fret ringing also. Adding the pinky to the fifth fret. Walking up to the A chord and the same uh, procedure. Sliding down, adding the
bring the pinky and sliding down, going into the D7. And this is one of Leon's favorite uh, tricks, uh, going with your index finger one fret down on the second string, so to the second fret and then sliding into the third fret. And you can either pick or slide. You see in the measure 8, I pick and in measure 9, I'm sliding and I'm doing a long slide over two beats. And back to our G. D7, G. And then we have the bridge. I'm sliding into that B chord. You can also bar, of course. And here, the, the alternating bass patterns. So. And I'm, what I'm doing here, it, it's, it's really lots of variations. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Going into an E7. Changing, still an E7, but we uh, threading the B7 position, well, uh, form, chord form, and moving up to the 7th fret. And then I'm doing 8th fret, 2nd string, bending that, uh, that note. Then to a A6, so... 7th fret here, and, it, and then I'm going, going down a fret, and these are all down strokes, for the last three beats of measure 16. All over again, and then we do the introduction again. I'll do it slowly with vocals and I'll start with an introduction. Yeah. This song has a very strong swing feel, and you hear that especially, for example, in, in measure 10. That second and fourth beat are accented and muted often. And the little variations I do... It, da, da, I'm sliding on the 5th fret, 5th fifth, uh, fifth string to the 7th fret when I go from the G form to the A. That's a little variation. Sorry. And instead of the last beat of the 7th measure, simply go on the 5th fret. Sorry, the fifth string, seventh fret to fifth fret. You can hear that clearly in the performance video. And then the A7, the D7. Big time woman from way out west. You don't have to do exactly what's in the tab there uh, in the eighth and ninth measure. You can simply keep keep it simple also. Don't do that little trick from the second to the third fret on the second string. Yeah. Um, and there we have the bridge. On the way she treats me New York man. Oh, it's a sin. She keeps that skin. 
the same darn thing all over again. Now, th this section, normally it's uh, only two measures, and you see in the tap I stretched it to uh, three measures. Uh, and uh, the all over again. Um, you could do a simple walking if you don't want to do that little lick there. And so on. Uh, that's a choice you make, of course. Then uh, I did a solo. Well, it's uh, the accompaniment, but with a slight variation um, of the bridge, not the verse part. And I did. Uh, I'm going to that B, and this time I'm not going to do the rap chords, but a B7, and I'm going to add the pinky to the ninth fret and uh, like this. You can do all kinds of variations here and then I'm gonna walk into the D uh, C sorry E7 and the difference with the 14th and 15th measure is that this is, a da, da, this is the same, and then I'm going to the B7 form, like that. So I'm starting with a pinch, again you can do variations there. And then the same thing uh, for the A chord, that's measure 16. Little right hand variation. Again, you can do all kinds of variations there. And I'm, I think I walked in. So I walked into the D7. You can do the alternating bass using the stick string as well, fifth fret. And uh, in the last measure of that section, I did a little. Sometimes I strum a little bit in between, but using the chords of the progression. So I guess that's it for, um, what did I do? Oh yeah, the ending. It's not in the tap. I'm going to uh, see a minor there. It's a typical Lonnie Johnson thing, so. Third fret, fourth fret, fi fifth fret, fifth fret. And again, a little right hand fantasy. third fret, slide up to the 15th fret, you have still that G there. You see I rest my hand before I do that tap, because if you're gonna do like this, you're gonna, you're gonna miss it. <laughs> so this little support here helps me. So that's it now for Big Time Woman. Have fun with it.